Welcome back, wood lovers, to another episode of Tommy's Stonewoods. Today, we are looking at the king of my collection, I think. Dalberger Baroni, Madagascar Rosewood. Just the most perfect wood, as far as I'm concerned, for building the type of guitar that I build. One that is rich in overtone content, is perfect for the fingerstyle guitarist. Great dy dynamic range. Yeah, there's, there's, there's very difficult to, uh, to surpass Madagascar Rosewood, as far as I'm concerned. This is a set that is destined for a guitar that's gonna be going out to Japan later this year. Um, some incredible depth of color, deep brown grays, kind of burgundies, purples, little bits of green, some beautiful creamy sapwood. And we've even got some spider webbing or landscaping, the kind of black, inky, highly resinous, oily lines in there as well. Just an, an unreal acoustic tone wood. Um, up there with Brazilian rosewood, for sure, if not parallel or, or even surpassing Brazilian rosewood. Cocobolo, it's, it's all there. This, this has even got some really lovely rusty brick red in there as well. I'm absolutely in love with Madagascar rosewood and uh, it just sounds phenomenal. A very complex tone wood. Let's give it a listen. For whom the bell tolls. Unreal. Listen. Oh, man. A beautiful, smooth, high end that rings and sustains. A low, lovely sustaining bass. Again, you've got that almost like drum, drum skin. Like raindrops. Beautiful, just exquisite. Yeah, I, I've, uh, the first guitar that I built with, Ma Ma the first guitar that I built with Madagascar Rosewood, I think I paired it with uh, Swiss Spruce and um, when I strung it up for the first time, I was just like, yeah, that is the sound that I've been hearing in my head. And uh, all of, oh man. All of the guitars that I've built since from, from Maddie have just had that quality that I've been looking for. Elena, the Model S that I made just before Christmas, really good example of that. Just a fabulous, Fabulous word, but we do have to have some real talk with Madagascar Rosewood because Madagascar is uh, the most biodiverse place on the planet and uh, I was very hesitant about using rosewood, all rosewoods in fact, right at the start of my building career um, for that reason. You know, Madagascar, not only is it biodiverse in that it, you know, and, and relies on its forests to support that biodiversity, but it's also rich in natural resources uh, minerals, ores, and the land is incredibly fertile. So it's been assaulted on all fronts from extractive industries, from industrial agriculture, and from the explosion in the luxury furniture market. So, you know, it was with some hesitation that I, I dived into the rosewoods and especially into Madagascar rosewoods. Um, but you know, when you are a, a young builder starting out, when you've got no money and people are interested in Madagascar Rosewood, it's very difficult to put your ethics and your morals, um, I can't quite believe I'm saying this, but it's very difficult to, to put those ahead of um, your career as a guitar maker. Um, and especially when you produce a guitar that sounds so incredible and ex is exactly what you hear in your head when you think that's what I want my guitars to sound like. So 
The Madagascar rosewood that I have sourced comes from a supplier who I know um, to be heavily involved in conservation efforts. Um, I get my ebony from them. They have their own mill uh, where they oversee a sustainable uh, future for ebony. Madagascar rosewood, I have a limited stock. Um, any stock that I do buy uh, from alternative sellers is, is old stock. Um, but I, I really don't think that I'm going to be able to continue working with Madagascar Rosewood in the, in, for the long term. I certainly won't be buying in any new stocks, any new supply of Rosewood, um, which, which is, a, you know, it's a source of huge conflict for me. Um, you know, I, I have a deep love for the material. It's absolutely stunning. It's amazing to work with as a woodworker. That's what, exactly what you want. Um, it's a premium product and my guitars are exactly how I would like them to sound using Madagascar Rosewood. But we can't get away from the fact that we need to look after the, the planet. And so it's my hope with these videos that I kind of share some of this insight with you, share some of my conflict. So hopefully you can see where I'm, I'm at with this. But also to, I think it's really important to, to you know, my, my position is you know i'm never going to change the world to just one person on my own but i can help to influence and change perceptions and so on the one hand i am building with this material which i absolutely adore and i'm putting it to good use making a product that is going to last which is going to be an heirloom piece you know um, and it's my hope with these videos that i can also draw attention to new timbers new sustainable futures um, so anyway, it's, yeah, it's a really difficult one. And I know many of my colleagues are, are finding themselves in, in a similar situation. You know, the, the, the conflict between wanting to work with the finest materials, the most beautiful materials, make the great sounding guitars, but also wanting to look after the planet as well. So I feel like I'm a custodian uh, over these pieces of wood. I absolutely cherish them, as you can probably tell. Um, and I, uh, yeah, whilst I have it, I can't wait to, to build with it. Um, so on that note, let's give it another little tapperoo. Spray some magic spray on it and celebrate the beauty of this material. Unbelievable. It's like glass. Unreal, just the most exquisite timber. Magic spray time. Before I get too emotional. Oh, good God. Look at that. Unbelievable. You can see why I love it. Amazing wood. I'm getting so, so philosophical about this that I've almost forgotten to, to run over our stats. Um, it's a very hard and dense wood. Uh, on the Janker scale of hardness, we are looking at 2,720 pounds force to drive a steel ball of a half inch diameter, a quarter of an inch into the surface of the wood, and a specific gravity of 0.93 at a moisture content of 12%. So not quite as dense as water. This will float. So uh, if you find yourself in a flood, as we look to be Coming into right now here in North Yorkshire, you can sail away on your uh, rosewood guitar. Beautiful. This is going to make an incredible guitar. It's one of those pieces of wood that I almost don't want to build into anything. I just want to hold it and look at it and, and not let it leave my side. Unbelievable. Go back and listen to the Cocobolo video because they've both got an incredible sustain, a credible gong-like tone to them, but there's something subtly different. This is so complex, there's so much going on. It's fundamental, but the overtones are just whispering away there. Amazing. This is a really fine example of Madagascar Rosewood. So there you go. Let me know what you're hearing in the comments. Let me know what you think about sustainability. Let's have that conversation. Pull me up 
If you don't, if you think, Tom, why the hell are you using this word? Let me know, um, because it's a very difficult subject. Um, and um, yeah, let's have that real talk. Do you have a Madagascar Rosewood guitar? What do you think of it? I've made a lot and I absolutely love it. I think it's absolutely fabulous. Um, let me know what you're hearing. And let me know what you'd like to see on Monday. Tomorrow I'm taking the day off. But Tommy Turnwood will return on Monday. And there is so much to explore, so many things to look at. The wood stash is, uh, has barely been touched. And I'm very excited. I'm really happy that you guys are enjoying this, uh, this little show. I'm enjoying making it. I'm loving the, the comments and I'm loving the conversations that are coming out of it. So until Monday, have a wonderful rest of your weekend.